a few days ago I was talking uh, about the Electret capsule, microphone capsule, and uh, that I wanted to make a uh, pre-amplifier with it on 3 volts. This was say the thumbnail of the first uh, video in this kind of project. Um, I told that this capsule had very good properties, especially the frequency range. It was straight between 20 Hz and 20 kHz. And now I made two pre-amplifiers with that capsule. And I found that's perhaps interesting to tell that it is a little bit noisy. But that can also have to do with its good high frequency range. Anyway. I made two circuits. This is the first circuit that I made. It has a volume control, consists of three transistors. Uh, and there are certain properties compared to the second circuit that is here now on my workbench. And I will only demonstrate this circuit and not the first one, but they both work good. And they have certain properties. And they differ a little bit. Anyway. So at first the first circuit that is here. And that is this one. You can see here in a certain way a classical setup for a preamp. And um, the say the special thing here is that it must work on three volts, and that all always generates a certain problems that low supply voltage. Uh, because when you have silicon transistors like these here, their barrier voltage is approximately 0 0.8 volts or 0 0.7 volt, and that means that they can work in theory and also in practice only when the supply voltage is higher than 0 0.8 volt and that means that there is a voltage room in a certain way uh, between in this case say 1 volt and 3 volts so 2 volts are the effective usable voltage to make such a preamp and uh, that means that in general the collector, this is a grounded emitter uh, amplifier, it means that in general the uh, collector resistances, resistors are small, 1K, though this also works on 8V or 12V anyway. But um, well, what I wanted to tell is that such a circuit on 3V is a little bit critical. Like I told, I used that uh, capsule, it is somewhat noisy, I cannot demonstrate it, but when you make this circuit, uh, you can surely hear that. But I also made a noise reduction here with a 0 0.1 microfarad uh, non-polar capacitor. When the switch is closed, of course, a, a typical part of the high Higher frequencies in the audio range, say above 14 kilohertz or so, are transported to ground. And that means uh, that quite a good uh, amount of the noise is gone. You can also use 0 0.22 microfarad. That gives even more noise reduction. Here the pin connections of the used transistors. I don't, did not want to use special low noise transistors. You can surely do that when you do experiments and um, I tried to get this circuit to give this circuit um, a good behavior on strong signals and that's always a problem such a, a pre-amplifier simple in fact too simple pre-amplifier uh, when the sound here to the microphone gets too fierce the amplifier can start to clip and well, I did my best to say uh, make th this circuit as good as possible in this regard. 
Here you can set the volume, volume control. This is a 100 microfarad capacitor. Uh, well, this is always very important. A thousand microfarad electrolytic parallel to the battery. And the reason is that without that electrolytic, when the voltage, uh, when the batteries get depleted, the amplifier will start to oscillate. Uh, the so-called motor boating sounds. Furthermore, there's not so much more to tell. You can do experiments, but this is in a certain way experimented out. These resistors here, from the positive to the base, are always a little bit critical. Uh, they bias the transistor. And here the same, and these values here, 300 and, uh, uh, 330 kilo ohm, and this one were uh, experimented out. The uh, properties are here, it has a volume control, it has medium strong signal behavior, it has more noise, it's much more sensitive, and there's more amplification compared to the other circuit and here is here are the current and the voltages it works between 2 and 3 volts so even when the batteries get very very depleted it still works and it takes on the lowest workable voltage 10 milliampere now to the much more simple circuit that I developed today uh, it also has certain properties good properties and they are this and there's no volume control it works between uh, 2.84 volts and 1.97 volts so big voltage range it also works thus with depleted batteries it takes quite a high current perhaps it has to do with the Darlington here anyway uh, this is what it is And here again the capacitor against the motor boating. The sisters are everywhere the same. And this is also what I already have told. Uh, no volume control. It has a better strong signal behavior. This circuit is simpler, easier, but has a better strong signal behavior. Uh, though the amplification is somewhat smaller. Anyway. How can I demonstrate it? That's, that's always a little bit difficult. I can only demonstrate it when, when I'm talking to the microphone now in the room about the noise level. I will lift up now the scope to its maximum. And that means that you can surely see the noise level. And also when I talk, the signal to noise level. This is the noise level and with the other uh, circuit, the noise is somewhat higher, noise level, as of course to do with the properties of the electret capsule. Um, well, uh, it's always a good idea when you say have such a circuit, have made such a circuit on a breadboard or in the way that I make it here. Um, it's always a good idea to whistle into the microphone because a pure whistle is in almost all cases a pure sine wave and um, via that whistling into the microphone you can study how your pre-amplifier works whether it amplifies the positive um, part of the sine wave and the negative part of the sine wave say the music properly let me demonstrate it here. So here you see a proper amplification of the sine wave. Let's try to go to a higher frequency. So, 
anyway perhaps it sounds a little bit stupid but it's a very very good and simple way to test your pre-amplifier uh, I've now used two fresh batteries the voltage to the circuit is 2.93 volts the current that it takes is quite high by the way it's 35 milliampere and I have made by purpose here a potentiometer of 220 ohm so that I can change the uh, supply voltage and show that it still works and also can show uh, the current that it takes I turned that a little bit now we go to a lower supply voltage you surely directly see that the current that the amplifier takes goes down it's logical it's not a class B amplifier it's class A A so no one 2.1 volts we still have here uh, 20 20 milliampere let's go again and look to the to the how the how good it amplifies hello let's lift up the amplification of the scope somewhat you can surely see that when you talk uh, it doesn't clip that's also important it doesn't clip so even here on that low voltage say that is a depleted battery uh, the amplifier still works okay thanks for watching this was this was more or less all show the schematic once again easy to make minimum components etc etc But for say more sensitivity, uh, uh, the, the other circuit that's now here, the other circuit is more sensitive. But on the other hand, it has more noise. So decide for yourself what could be a good. Um, circuit and I think this circuit is better suitable say uh, to make audio recordings and this circuit is better suitable to say use as a kind of spy microphone or uh, say hearing aid and of this hearing aid you always have the problem with noise so a more noiseless hearing aid will be this circuit thanks again <laughs>